That's a panda. Chat, is it true that pandas are lazy as shit? Like they don't even like, they don't even want to and that's why they're going endangered or something. Is that true? Panda, yes, yes, yeah. Yes, they are, yes. Yo, that is a new level of, I say f let them die. Like what the fuck, why are we, if they're so dead set on just being lazy as shit, you know, natural selection. How the fuck did they make it this far? You know what I mean? It's because of the bamboo. Wait, the bamboo makes some, Kenji, what? I'm just saying natural selection, Darwin's uh, theory, motherfucker. Kenji, what? Because they're cute, but they're cute. They're they're so cute, but they're lazy. How did, okay, my question is, how do they survive this long? Like, how do they survive this long, bro? Like, out in the wild, because of us, because of humans? So we're playing God with pandas right now, dude. That's why they survive, because we thought they were cute. Okay, okay, they survived because they thought they were cute. But my question is, before we thought they were cute, how were they surviving? Can you watch video of pandas falling? Oh, you know, all right, let's do that right now, dude. I'm kind of curious. Pandas falling. Not falling out of trees. I don't want to see pandas falling out of trees. That that's gonna hurt my whole my my soul. They're clumsy too, Chad. They're clumsy. They're clumsy. They're little clumsy bears. Oh my god. They just fall off everything. <laughs> Why in every single one of these clips there's always some fat ass panda in the back eating? A little fat mother. Look at this asshole. <laughs> they just flop. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> wait, silly clumsy guys. Why? What is? How did they? Wait, wait. How did pandas survive this long? I want to see a video. How is this alive? Why are giant pandas so hard to save? It's a four-minute video chat. Okay. And 30 seconds of it was that fucking intro. Jesus Christ. Thanks to massive conservation efforts and tens of millions of dollars spent over the last 40 years, humans are probably the only reason giant pandas haven't gone extinct yet. Wow. Of course, as we take up more and more of its native habitat in China, we're also the reason that they're in trouble in the first place. Oh. So saving them seems like the least we could do. And our efforts seem to be working. Sort of. There are about 1,600 giant pandas living in the wild today and another 300 in zoos around the world. Wait, pandas there, there's wild pandas? Pandas present a conservation pandas? challenge like no other. Giant pandas have one of the strangest and most perplexing diets in the animal kingdom, and they're equally unusual when it comes to reproduction. We can help with both of these things when animals are in captivity, but it raises the question, how do pandas manage to exist in the wild? Let's start with the food. That's what I'm saying. You know, That's what I'm curious about, bamboo, bro. But did you know that it makes up to 99% of their diet? Damn. This make total sense if pandas were a kind of herbivore, but they are in fact a type of bear. Instead of having complicated Wait, fermented four-chambered stomachs like cows, their digestive systems resemble those of carnivores with a simple stomach and a short small intestine. So wait, 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 wait. So they're a bear that doesn't eat meat? <laughs> they're a vegan bear? What the fuck is happening? Yes? Wait, what? Giant pandas actually can eat meat. They just don't. When scientists Why? sequenced the panda genome in 2009, they found that the bears don't even have the necessary genes for making enzymes to break down all the cellulose and bamboo. As a result, giant pandas have to eat between 9 and 18 kilograms of oh bamboo Oh my god. Every day. It also means wild giant pandas spend as much as 16 hours a day- Eat a hamburger, mother- what are they doing? What the f are they doing, bro? Cause they can't, um, what? Cause they can't catch things made of meat. Oh my God. Wait, actually true. Actually true. I didn't even think about that, bro. Holy sh They can't catch the actual fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're so clumsy. They're just little guys. Foraging and eating, leaving the rest of the day mostly for sleep. Wow. But it's not like they're being picky eaters. It's likely that pandas weren't always so reliant on bamboo, but as ancient humans arrived into their territory, they moved to higher elevations and started eating bamboo to avoid competing with other meat eaters. Mm. It's only now that scientists are beginning to understand how giant pandas can survive on this weird, finicky diet. Researchers tracked three male and three female giant pandas over the course of six years, looking closely at what they ate in their natural habitat in China's Qinling Mountains. Mm -hmm. Of special interest was the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and calcium they ate, since those are the most important nutrients for mammals. It turned out that pandas tweak their tastes for bamboo from one part of the plant to another and what? from one species to another as the year progresses. A lot of their diet consists of a certain type of bamboo called wood bamboo, and throughout the year the pandas go from eating the leaves of the plant to the shoots, which contain more phosphorus and nitrogen. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh my God. I don't understand how you can naturally do this, bro. This is so weird. Like it, they have to have languages. I swear animals got to have languages in like a 
acting like a chief and they're like, all right, assholes, hey, it's winter time. Go ahead and eat them mother shoots. I don't, I don't want to see no leaves or shoots anywhere on the ground asshole like there has to be some type of thing because how would they just know to do that i don't get it but as the shoots grow they lose those nutrients so the pandas move to higher elevations and switch to eating the shoots of another bamboo species called arrow bamboo then in midsummer they switch yet again turning their attention to the leaves of the arrow bamboo which has lots of calcium by late summer the females return to lower elevations to give birth at which point they switch back to the leaves of the wood bamboo like this Southern is an intricate eating pattern yama don't even eat this crazy. Y'all wake up and eat a bagel with some fucking cream cheese or some crazy or like eggs and toast. You know what I mean? Some fucking, you eat some simple, simple shit. These motherfuckers are switching it throughout the year. I don't even eat. Ooh, I eat pop tarts. You know what I mean? Like you have your own thing. Like this is crazy. This is insane. Wait, so does that mean they're not lazy? They're lazy or not? I, I think they're smart. Complicated, and what's worse, this poor diet also makes reproduction, which is notoriously challenging to begin with, even harder. Though pandas can reproduce when they're as young as four to as old as 20, female giant pandas only ovulate once a year in the spring. The Dang. window during which they can conceive is usually between one and three days. Wow. So rabbits, they are not. Then, if a female manages to become pregnant in the spring, the embryo stays in a state of arrested development known as delayed implantation. What's Researchers that? think the embryo only restarts its development after the female returns to lower elevations and can eat more of the calcium rich leaves of the air. Even bamboo. the body knows, bro. That's kind of crazy. That's just evolution. Chad, that's kind of wild. Imagine how many years had to pass, how many times this had to happen over and over and over for the body to know, okay, we're going to go up here, we're going to eat this, and we're going to go over there, eat this, and then when we come back down, then you could get pregnant. It's That is crazy. Nature is wild, bro. Nutrients she needs for fetal and, then, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, okay. Yes, it's evolution. But like, chat, you don't think there's like a higher power that designed this? Because this seems so intricate that it's just like, bro, what? I swear to God, we're like in a simulation or like some type of There has to be some smart like, you do this, you do that or something. Because it's just crazy the fact that like that. And that is just one thing. That is just one mammal, bro. Think about like your, your cells, what your cells do on a daily. You know what I mean? Think about like the world you live on, bro. How we're just fucking flying through a rock, flying on a rock through fucking infinite amount of nothingness around a fireball. It's crazy bro like what you're telling me all that is just by chance i don't know bro it's too intricate to not be you feel me bone growth and lactation but oh again, my god pocky just said at what point <laughs> at what point in the year do they learn kung fu <laughs> You're an idiot, dude. <laughs> because of the bear's inconsistent and nutrient-poor diet, newborn pandas are far from giant. Famously described as the size of a stick of butter, infant pandas usually weigh between 90 and 130 grams. It looks grams, like a rat. Less than a third of the weight of other bear cubs. So if being cute has given them the evolutionary advantage of making us want to care for them, all I can say is, well played, pandas. Mm. Well played. And on behalf of humanity, I should say, Sorry for making things even harder. Wait, for you. that's it though? But like, I want to know how, the, how, are, how are they surviving? How do, how do pandas survive, bro? I mean, he said, yeah, they eat, but like, no one's trying to eat them and abolish pandas. Should we let nature finally delete pandas? Let's watch this. Oh. Hey, bro. Hey, Billy. Are you coming up to chill? What's the plan, bro? Everything is awesome. What the f is happening? I gonna start a f video with pandas falling moves. There are some animals whose entire existence proves that nature isn't about survival of the fittest. It's survival of just barely being good enough. If life was a class, it wouldn't be about passing with straight A's. It'd be about passing off your DNA before you become an F in the chat. <laughs> some animals are universally recognized as the remedial students of nature. Cheetahs are the red-headed stepchild of the cat world. Sloths are basically free calories served on a moss blade. And roasting koalas <laughs> is considered low-hanging fruit only because they happen to share the same IQ. And also because they put the mid in chlamydia. Ew. That that oh, I was weak. wondering why his fucking voice sound familiar, bro. This is um, what's his name? He's on he's on TikTok all the time. He has he has a bunch of TikToks and he's always telling cool ass facts. What's his name, bro? Casual Geographic. That's what he goes by. What's bro's name? I like I like him, dude. I like him. I like him. I like him. I remember some girl trying to steal his whole fucking flow. We just sleep bad at pandaing, and that we as a society need to stop being this biracial Winnie the Pooh's crutch and just let nature finish what it's clearly started. <laughs> Are pandas really that bad? 
Did we successfully gaslight the barcode bears of the world? Or do pandas really profit off the most OP pretty privileged skin? Is that a panda in the wild? What is it doing? Why is it just up there? <laughs> is it still alive? I have so many questions. Who nature's ever seen. To find out, first we gotta lay out They're all so the factors cute. that make the try to panda challenge virtually impossible. <laughs> but before that, this video was sponsored by absolutely no one. Let's get it. You probably already know that the panda's biggest problem revolves around it being a bamboo sink. 99% of the things that meets this oversized quality hamster's gullet is bamboo. Despite clearly being designed with carnivore software, it's the koala problem. Of Does it ever try to eat meat? Like if you put like a chicken in front of it, is it gonna try to eat it? Something that gives you very little back, which is why pandas can spend up to 16 hours a day eating something they can only digest 17% of. The very definition of injustice is that when you Google sloth bear, this monochromatic tryhard vegan doesn't show up since their diet of scarfing bamboo often leaves them with very little energy for anything else. Oh. So to accommodate this self-imposed energy budget, pandas developed relatively smaller sized organs, including, you guessed it, their brains. And so we'll get to that, but yeah. They're actually dumb. No, I feel bad now, bro. I was talking all that shit. I'm sorry, little panda. Okay, okay, what if what if we just take one panda, just like as an experiment, we take one panda, right? We So this is what we do, just hear me out. Hear, hear me out, because this might actually be crazy, right? You know how like evolution happens over time? We take one, one panda, little panda cub, we feed it nothing but meat and make it hunt, right? And then, and then we, we do that with multiple and then we have carnivorous pandas over time. And then that way we could release them in the wild and they're not gonna fucking die. You know what I mean? No, thank you. Why not? Kenji, why? Because we, I, we gotta save them. Why would they kill each other? What we're practically doing is saying, come here, little crackhead. I'll give you all the crack you want. It's okay. Just have more little crack babies. It's okay. You're gonna die soon. It's fine. Like, f that. Why wouldn't you want a very strong, cute panda bear that eats people? It'd be fun, fun. Eat, eat people. Yeah, being a bimbo for bamboo might have literally nerfed their intelligence in the process. Kenji and playing God? They're playing God, bro. You may have asked yourselves why the breathing bamboo purses don't just hibernate, since hibernation is basically power save mode for animals, and if anyone needs to save energy, it's pandas. Well, one, bears technically aren't even true hibernators. But two, even if they were, eating like the vegan teacher's lap dog means pandas are physically incapable of putting on the fat reserves required to hibernate for months at a time without also being slept to starvation. But honestly, the problems with their diet have low-key been overblown. If being a bamboo junkie was their only issue, they wouldn't be as chronically down bad. At their core, animals have oh two my God. goals. Food and another F word my mom doesn't like me to say. We Buddy, I didn't need to see that. Prep, but it's their love life that really screws pandas over. Pandas are absurdly bad at making more pandas. Off rip, their window to reproduce isn't even really a window, it's more like a hairline crack in the windshield. Female pandas ovulate one to three days out of the entire year. Jeez. That's only 24 to 72 hours are open for business out of a possible 8,760. And since being bent on bamboo means they eat, sleep, and socialize like a stereotypical Reddit user. Dude, imagine now it's for humans. We probably wouldn't even be like a society. But if we were, dude, that would be the sh I'd be nothing in all the is what she's talking about. I'm not having no kids. I owe oh, all those kids in your tummy, but no kids in your tummy. <laughs> My fault, sorry. Finding a possible partner is often equally as difficult. Pull out game, Halloween. Even if he does manage to track a female down, he still has a high risk of fumbling the opportunity because males are apparently illiterate at reading signs. Male pandas often struggle to interpret the signs that a female actually wants to make. <laughs> She's trying to throw his ass. <laughs> She's throwing that ass back and he's just like, mm, this is some good bamboo, bro. <laughs> Yo, yo, this is actually me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll just be oblivious to shit. Hours on the clock mistakes like that ensure that the only thing getting screwed is the future of your progeny. <laughs> and even if the female's 100% with it, it's still not a for sure thing. Partly because male pandas struggle through the process of procreation in a way that is almost impressive, but also partly due to the panda's reportedly disproportionately tiny penis. Oh. Which is why panacoitus is a lot like trying to get a quarter inch USB into a port blind while also wearing a 200 pound fat suit. Oh, and oh. try without using thumbs. Nature did this obese oppression raccoon zero favors. They're what? They have little dicks. I feel bad now. No. Actually, no, bro. I actually feel bad. Like, dude, okay, you're clumsy, sure. You're a little slow, sure. You can't hunt for yourself, sure. But you have a little dick. Oh my god. Their mating habits are a big reason why the double stuffed Ursus Oreos Hey, he hitting that though. Oh, oh. and breeding programs in captivity often show so little interest in their literal only job that researchers have resorted to showing them videos of pandas mating. <laughs> Apart from pulling videos from Panda Hub, researchers have also resorted to giving they're them still, they're showing videos. <laughs> they need tutorials on how to fuck. actual Viagra. 
Although you'd need a magnifying glass oh. to see if it's working, because again, the P in Panda does not stand for packing. And even though most pandas rely on the grace of God as a wingman, somehow the jihad of life doesn't end once they add new names to the roster. Pandas are some of the worst parents on the planet. <laughs> You've probably heard that if a panda has twins, one of them is a guaranteed loss since the mother panda will abandon half her litter and leave that one twin to die. Which Why? is even worse when you consider that grizzly bears will allegedly disown their cubs, but they only do it when there's one, since they'd rather start over with two to four cubs than put all their hopes in stock in one. The <laughs> That's so f***ed up, bro. Grizzly bears are like, nah, f*** that. You only get one, one only popped out my coochie? F*** out of here. The f*** out of here. You got, get the f*** out of here, little one. I don't know you. <laughs> you not mine. <laughs> That's so gangster, bro. That's crazy. Bears suck. What the f*** for you? <laughs> Panda Cub doesn't get off scot-free either, since the yin yang colored chonk bears of China have the highest mother to baby size ratio of any mammal. Dang. To put in perspective, humans are typically 20 times bigger than their babies. Mother African elephants are typically 45 times heavier. A mama panda is approximately oh 900 my times God. the size of her newborn baby. Imagine it just clubs. Ew, look at this little koala bee. It's a koala bee. Imagine just steps on it or clubs it, bro. Have pouches like marsupials. That puts the panda at a legitimate risk of being turned into a chalk outline by its own oblivious mother. Just another way nature set this glorified cow gerbil up for failure. <laughs> so cute. And it's not even like domestication is an option. A good reason is because, despite what the black and white beta bamboo might tell you, it's still a bear, and a bear is a bear is a bear. And the black sheep of the bear brotherhood is still oh, liable shit. to absolutely oh, fold shit. any human. Especially since the one plus of constantly crushing bamboo is a bite force comparable to big cats like lions. Oh, shit. In case you thought shit. this plus size Oreo was oh, sweet, ate a peacock. lost his whole leg after a giant panda wandered onto his land and crushed his leg like celery. Holy shit. And there's the shit. fact that a high volume, low efficient diet means the one man bamboo processing plant known as the panda can poop a healthy 40 times a day. And of course, living in the chilly mountainous forests of Asia, pandas figured out that they can stay warm by rolling around and covering themselves in fresh manure. So if you want to add Ew. a biting, eating, pooping, sewer smelling dependence to your family, like I always say, you're better off having children. Because there are no tax credits for providing for pandas. In fact, the opposite. Pandas quite literally cost millions of dollars just to keep alive. But mostly that's because giant pandas are leased by the Chinese government at approximately a fat million a year. Jesus. And if one of those pandas gets knocked up, that'll set you back a cub tax of about 400000 which is You gotta what? pay for having cub? Why are we still keeping them alive? I currently, only three zoos in the U.S. have a biracial bamboo munching beanbag of a bear on display. One of those zoos used to be San Diego. I say used to because one of the consequences of renting pandas is that gives China the ammunition to be petty. I'm not a political channel. I'll never be a political channel. I'm not implying any type of affiliation or bias. I'm just listening two things that happened. In 2019, Trump may or may not have fueled a trade war against China. And come May 2019, a mother panda and her son were recalled and sent back to China. Now you could oh. argue the trade war had nothing to do with it and this was just a natural end of a panda They moment. took back their panda? That's so f***ing petty. That's the most petty sh They're like, what? What, you talking sh Give me back my panda. <laughs> I, I want to do that with all my exes. Give me back that I gave you, bitch. <laughs> wrong with you <laughs> that's so petty dude but 10 years earlier in 2009 taishan the panda was deported not long after obama met with the dalai lama the dalai lama is as far as china is concerned an op so my working theory is china uses pandas for diplomacy but also as a vehicle of petty punishment that's mm. not really the panda's fault but at this point we might as well hold it against them too we didn't even mention the fact <laughs> that pandas aren't even really pandas. What? When zoologist Federico Cuvier first used the word panda in 1825, he was describing the red-headed raccoon we call the red panda. The furry orca known as the giant panda wasn't named until much later, and it only got its name because at the time, they thought it had a lot in common with the red panda. Mm. Turns out, they're not even close to being related. Oh, wow. Meaning this overgrown zebra yogi isn't even the original panda. And the fact that it's monochrome mugshot shows up first when you type panda and not live action shifu is one of the biggest injustices of nature. Dang. This is the OG panda, but the newspaper flavored cloud guzzling frost took up just enough space to convince the world otherwise. So obviously, pandas have their problems, and you can argue that their best trait is being a luck merchant. There is no other animal that gets carried harder by pretty privilege than the endgame of a sloth bear raccoon orgy. And they're the only creature on earth with black and white privilege. Because the reason <laughs> giant pandas are the mascot of the World Wildlife Fund is literally because having a mascot with the same color patterns as 1940s TV saves you a lot of money on ink. Yo, that sounds like a joke, but I'm not even kidding. If pandas were black and yellow or black and brown, they might not have gotten the job. But that aside, consensus is that pandas are so bad. <laughs> Why are they always falling? <laughs> Please, pandas. <laughs>
<laughs> you make it so hard for me. At a pending, that we should just let the flex of China fade into oblivion the way nature intended. But is that really true, or have we just been doing giant pandas incredibly dirty this entire time? First thing to mention is that they're a specialist species, with that specialty being in binging bamboo. Mm. Being a specialist rather than a generalist means you can typically tell how don't they die? nobody else can. But that means they can adapt to changes in their environment. That also means that there are only a couple things going wrong away from getting evicted uh... from reality. Having a very particular set of skills might be great if you're Liam Neeson, but it can severely handicap you as a species. And the funny thing is, for all the crap pandas get, the biggest and arguably most intimidating land predator on the planet is a specialist. Polar bears depend almost entirely on sea ice to hunt, and if that goes away, then it's bye-bye ice bear. Oh, man. For some reason, we don't on the polar bear nearly as much for being dependent on ice as we lampoon pandas for their life choices. Mm. Especially since it's habitat destruction and fragmentation that really had giant pandas down bad. You see, it's believed the panda bear once had more variety in his diet and Whoa. was more omnivorous. But likely because there was just so much bamboo everywhere and virtually zero competition for it, eventually they shifted into primarily eating bamboo. It also turns out that the bamboo they eat is high in protein, but low in carbs. So despite seeming like that one person that would bring a veggie burger to a cookout, weirdly enough, the giant panda's protein intake is actually close to that of wolves. They're also part Oh my god. ...particular about the part of bamboo they like to eat, and when. According to studies on radio collared pandas, in the summer and spring, they prefer to eat the protein-packed shoots found at higher altitudes. But during autumn and winter, they migrate down into the valley and shift more towards eating bamboo leaves, which are high in vitamin C, along with roots. And they just move from high to low to high again, year in and year out. Something that's clearly worked for them since they've been just fine like this for thousands of years. So much so that the umami taste receptor, i.e. the one that lets you experience the savory taste of meat, yeah, theirs got turned off. And they even applied a false thumb for no other reason than to help them hold bamboo. They have a fake thumb? Wait, 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 they evolved a thumb to- <laughs> that is crazy, bro. So clearly pandas had a process that worked. The problem is when you fragment the habitat they spent thousands of years in and separate them from oh. the food, the result is less pandas. We love to say pandas are bad at life, but by receding their habitat like a middle-aged hairline, we haven't Dang. made living any easier. Also, the whole point I made about pandas being bad- Wait, at what? That was- Historic range for giant pandas, current giant panda habitat. Dude, they had so much land and now they only have that? Holy sh**. How many pandas were there, bro? Habitat like a middle-aged hairline, we haven't made living any easier. Also, the whole point I made about pandas being bad at making whoopee, turns out that might just be propaganda. Because in a twist, the giant panda's reproductive rate really isn't that much worse than that of American black bears. And black bears, they're doing just fine. Mm. In fact, everything I said about pandas having negative riz really only applies to those in captivity. In the wild, female pandas do have a small window for baby making, but that's often after a selection process that involves at least two males running fades for her honor. In a process oh, wow, that they can fight last in? up to and over a week. And we now believe that this process might just be what stimulates ovulation. You can't really replicate that in a zoo. And between that and a constant flow of people, that's probably the biggest reason that why makes sense, bro. If I'm fighting for some coochie, b you best believe I'm getting in there. So if, I, if, I'm, if I'm, it's a one on one battle with another dude for some coochie, you gonna populate, you gonna make sure you that, that what three day window, bitch? I'm gonna make that motherfucker a seven week window. I'm in there expeditiously. What you talking about these in the zoo they don't know what to do you know what i mean coochie getting thrown in their face and they're like ah i'm good buddy i'm i'm not fighting for that pal okay thank you i don't want no freebies i didn't really earn it kenji my fault activity becomes celibate like be real if you were forced into an arranged marriage and had to have an audience watch you consummate it you'd be a little awkward too there True. is no bigger indictment than the fact that a zoo in hong kong had been trying to hook up two pandas for the better part of 10 years and it wasn't until a certain beer virus of 2020 shut down the zoo to the public that the two bears finally got it on. Roommates for 10 years, <laughs> and all it took was a couple months of privacy for them to fornicate. But even with all the slander, pandas are actually in pretty good shape. And that is a problem. With about 2,000 pandas alive today, pandas were recently demoted off the endangered species Oh, list. wow. Yet giant pandas still finesse a bulk of conservation efforts simply because they're cute. Think about it for a second. Pandas have big eyes. Big <laughs> yeah, they're and so if cute. If they didn't remind us of babies, we wouldn't be this invested in their future. There's like 400 blobfish left Ew. in the entire world, and you probably didn't know that because, real talk, nobody's buying their child a plushie that looks like a deflated sunfish. <laughs> True. Not to mention the animals that could legitimately destroy entire ecosystems if they go ghost, like bees or certain types of plants. They become an afterthought because, yeah, pretty gets priority. It's True. like that one gym teacher that ignores actually struggling students to help the attractive girls in class that don't need or ask for it. Ew, so, creepy, creepy guy, creepy guy, creepy joke. That's right, pandas are hot girls. Side note, why does it always seem like the gym teacher's on felonious timing? Pandas aren't perfect, they're miles away from it, but at the end of the day, we've done far more to them than for them. But that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to check out my book for 100 animals that can absolutely fold you like a lawn chair, link in description. Drink
Bro, this is crazy. Water, you need that stuff. Hug your mother, tell pops you appreciate him. Matter of fact, might have to make a Father's Day video in the name. Mmm, W video, bro. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below if you guys want to check it out and check out that channel as well, dude. Yeah, I didn't know he had a YouTube uh page, to be honest with you. I did not know he had a YouTube page. That's crazy. W video, super fire video.